Hello and welcome to the Phone Burner Training. My name is Jeff Osnes and I'm going to be your host on this specific training. Think of me like your virtual tour guide. On this particular training, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the call transfer feature that's part of the Phone Burner system. Now before we dive into the how-tos, I do want to talk to you a little bit about our call transfer feature. First off, I want to let you know that the call transfer feature built into Phone Burner is what's referred to as a warm transfer, meaning you will be able to talk to the transfer agent before you hand the call over to that transfer agent. And one other thing I want to point out is you'll be able to create multiple transfer agents as well as transfer agent groups that you'll be able to choose from while you're making your calls. So let's get started. In the upper right hand corner, we're going to click on the settings menu and we're going to go down to the dial session settings option. In the dial session settings on the left hand side of the screen, we're going to click on the call transfer option in the advanced section. This is where you go to create your own personal call transfer agents as well as call transfer agent groups. Now, if you're a team admin and you have multiple users that you're configuring phone burner for, you'll also have the ability to share call transfer agents and groups with your team so you don't have to create them on a user by user basis. Now let's create our first call transfer agent. So we're gonna click on the big orange button, add call transfer agent. When creating a call transfer agent, the first thing you wanna do is give that agent a name. Now in this particular case, we're creating a single transfer agent as opposed to a group. So we're going to actually use that person's name. After I've given the call transfer agent a name, now I just need to add the phone number or phone numbers associated with that specific call transfer agent. In this case, I'm just going to add one phone number. I'm going to label it as a cell, but it really doesn't matter so much what I label it as here. And then I'm going to enter the phone number and I'm going to save changes. In this particular case, I'm creating a call transfer agent that has one phone number that we're going to transfer to. Now let's create an additional call transfer agent, but in this particular case, the transfer agent is going to have multiple phone numbers. So we're going to click on Add Call Transfer Agent. We give the agent a name, and then we add the phone numbers. So I've got the first one in there. Now I click on Add Phone and I can add the second number associated with this particular call transfer agent. Once I've entered the phone numbers, go ahead and save changes. And now you can see I have two call transfer agents, one for Heather, she has one phone number, one for Cassie, and Cassie has two phone numbers. If I were to transfer the call to Cassie, our system would call both phone numbers at the same time, waiting for the first connection. Once one of the calls connects, the other call will drop. Now, what if we wanted to create a call transfer agent group? Maybe we wanted to call Heather and Cassie at the same time. So let's create one more call transfer agent. So we'll click on Add Call Transfer Agent. This time when I give it a name, I'm not going to call it Heather or Cassie. I'll call it Closer Group. And this time when I'm labeling the phone numbers, rather than labeling them cell phone or office phone, I would call them Cassie and Heather. Once I've entered all of the phone numbers for each of my transfer agents that are going to be part of the group, I'm going to go ahead and save changes. Very similar to our single agent with multiple phone numbers, we've got our closer group with phone numbers for two separate representatives that could potentially answer the phone. Now that we've created our call transfer agents, if I want, I can also rearrange these. Let's say I wanted the closer group to be at the top of the list. I just drag it, drop it, and it's saved. And now when my team is using the dialer, making phone calls, and they go to transfer the call, the closer group will be at the top of the list, Heather will be second, and then Cassie will be third. Speaking of using the call transfer feature in a dial session, let me show you how easy it is to transfer these calls during a live session. So here we are calling through our data. If we get somebody live on the phone, great, we'll have our conversation like we normally do. If it goes to voicemail, 
Click in the voicemail button like you normally would. Drop in that voicemail instantly without having to listen to the entire message or wait for the beep. But if you get somebody live on the phone, have your conversation, and when you're ready to transfer the call, you're going to click on the live answer button, and you'll click the transfer call button. Here you're going to see your call transfer agent. Let's say we didn't care which one we transferred it to. We just wanted to transfer it to whoever was available. So we click on call agent. That'll put our prospect on hold while it calls our transfer agent. At this point, I can have a private conversation with my call transfer agent. I can even bounce back over to my prospect and talk privately with them, putting my transfer agent on hold. And if I want to go back to my transfer agent, I can jump back over there. That'll put my prospect on hold. And then when I'm ready, and only when I'm ready to merge all of us together, I'll click on the Merge Calls button. That'll bring us all on the same line. We're now all connected, able to talk to each other. When I'm ready to leave so that they can continue talking, I just click the Leave Bridge call. What that does is it allows me to leave the call, but they will stay connected. They can stay connected as long as they want. At this point, I just wrap up my notes, go ahead and add my notes, and then I'm going to click on the disposition down at the bottom that makes the most sense for the outcome of the call. And if you're looking closely here, you'll see I've got a couple dispositions here, one called Transfer to Heather, one called Transfer to Cassie. Let's say I transfer the live call to Heather, so I might also want to transfer the Jeff Sample record to Heather, so I click on Transfer to Heather. That will move me on to the next call and send the record to Heather CRM so that she can now manage Jeff Sample. So let me show you how that works again. You just click on Live Answer, Transfer the Call, choose your transfer agent. Once connected, you can bounce back and forth between the two calls. And then when you are ready, you can merge the calls. That gets everybody connected. And when it's time for you to exit, you just click on the Leave Bridge button. That's going to get you out of the call, leaving them connected. Now you just need to update your notes and click on the disposition that makes the most sense for the outcome of the call. Let's say this one was transferred to Cassie. And here you can see we're off to the next call. Let's go ahead and end our session. So as you can see, it's very easy to use the call transfer feature within PhoneBurner. And if you're part of a team, it is super easy to share your call transfer agents with the team. You'll see over here on the right-hand side, I have the Share This button. Each one of the transfer agents that you create, whether it's a group or an individual, is shareable with your team. You just need to click on the Share This button to turn on the sharing for that specific transfer agent or group. Let's say we wanted to share all three of these. We just need to click on the Share This button for each one of them. That will make each of these call transfer agents available to our team. Now, if you're not seeing the option to share these with your team, no problem. It's super easy to enable sharing of call transfer agents with your team from your master config section in your admin account. In the upper right-hand corner, you're going to click on the Settings menu, and you're going to go down to Master Config. On the Master Config page, you're just going to find the Transfer Agents option, and make sure that the setting is set to Add. Once that's enabled, you can go back to the Transfer Agents section, and you'll see the option to share those transfer agents with your team. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training with me and learn how you can take advantage of the call transfer feature in PhoneBurner. I wish you the best and happy dialing.